Prior to the Wright brothers, there was a century of work on heavier-than-air powered flight. They were reading about other people's work in magazines, and again, principally Otto Lilienthal's hang glider flights. Photographs of Lilienthal flying in his hang gliders were published all over the world. Lilienthal was killed in a crash in his glider. And for some reason or another, this really catalyzed Wilbur's interest, saying, oh, can we really do better? And that is when they became interested in actively pursuing heavier than air flight. They built a glider big enough to get off the ground with one of them on it. They barely got off the ground. During 1900, they had maybe a total of one minute flying time. In 1902, they designed a new glider. This 1902 glider was aesthetically beautiful. That glider flew beautifully. And in that glider, they acquired more than an hour and a half flight time in the year. That's when the Wright brothers decided to take the next step. To power the flying machine, Orville Wilbur, with the help of Charlie Taylor, who was the mechanic in their bicycle shop, developed a gasoline-powered engine. And it was connected to a propeller. This propeller turned out to be more efficient than anybody else's propeller before them. December 17, 1903, the Wright Flyer successfully flew. The Wright brothers did not invent the concept of the airplane. The Wright brothers, however, did invent the first successful airplane. A successful, heavier-than-air powered machine is one that can take off on its own with a pilot, fly for a sustained period of time, and land under controlled conditions.